talk it. Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, thank you so much. I am so proud to be a part of this remarkable ball club, not just this year, but for all the years past. It is uh, the truest blessing in getting this is that there are so many people to thank for it. I certainly need to mention uh, the great Dick Ebersol for all the Olympics work he gave me, and Matt Allen, my buddy, uh, who produced <laughs> uh, that video and whose feature unit I've been able to be a part of uh, at NBC Sports for all these years. Samson Chan, uh, a, a remarkable cameraman. I've gotten to spend a lot of time with him all around the planet. Um, I'd also like to thank Ross Greenberg. Um, he started me off at HBO covering Wimbledon and then Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. And they gave me a bunch of documentary work, which I absolutely adore. Thank you, Ross. Um, my agent, my longtime agent, Sandy Montag, who I, even now he says to me so many times, look, Mayor, I'm not sure if you're going to be interested in this. I'm always interested. <laughs> always. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank uh, the great Suzanne Smith of CBS Sports. She is as good a director as she is a person, and that's saying a hell of a lot. <laughs> yep. Um, yes. Um, I have gotten to call so many tennis matches throughout the years for USA, uh, for ESPN, for TNT, for CBS, uh, for NBC, for Tennis Channel. It has brought me great joy. Um, and making Bob Costas smile has been one of the great delights of my career. Uh, I can't thank every it's true. I can't thank everyone uh, that's here, but I especially want to shout out to all the invisible pros. Um, in my working life, the folks who do so much research for all the stories I do. Um, all those stories I get to tell, the, the stuff comes from them, whether it's long form pieces or tennis or real sports. Um, the, there is an extraordinary research department at NBC Olympics. And here's how my relationship is with them every damn games. I get there, it's usually get there, I, I usually get there about a week before the Olympics start. Um, and I wander into the broadcast center and I'm jet lagged and uh, I've got a cup of coffee in my hand and I approach someone who has really nothing to do with my problem. It's usually the tremendous transportation woman or it's you know, the logistics guy or the credential person and I'll walk up to them and I'll say, you know, and they've already been there for months and they know everything. And I'll say, you know, I'm thinking of doing a profile on this athlete. And they don't even have to look up. They'll say, whatever you need, you go to the research room. Pronunciations, denunciations, the towns, the schools, the rules, go there. Mm, the fools, is he from Libya? Is it a tibia? <laughs> Concussions, contusions, defections, ejections, podium positions, judging inquisitions. And then I'd say, well, you know, it's, it's just that there's this person that I think is going to carry the torch and like do the whole cauldron thing. And then the, and invariably, this person who knows everything will say, they'll tell you why he was chosen to carry the torch, who he's secretly carrying the torch for, and why it's not going to work out because she's gay. Go to the research room. Go. <laughs> they know. So that's what I do. I go to the research room. I come back an hour later, it's a different cup of coffee. <laughs> and I'll go to the, the same stooge, this poor mook that I was bothering before. And I'll say, where exactly is the research room? <laughs> I wish this wasn't true. Um, uh, more thanks uh, who everybody, and I've worked with so many of you magnificent people. I want to thank everyone in this room who ever told me, set the scene, keep it lean, lay it up, just lay out. Do not whisper, do not shout. I'd like to thank all the animals I've gotten to work with, and there are many. <laughs> Panda, polar, koala bears, wild things who live in lairs. Uno the beagle, I am the eagle. Thank you very much. He couldn't be here tonight, but that's a shout out to my great friend, Ian Eagle. To Triple Flips, Light and Airy, Starbucks at the Commissary. Starting lines, party lines, losers, winners, boxed up dinners. Facts check, Mike check. Gordon and Bruce Beck. 
Molly Solomon, Ken too. Where the hell's the nearest loo? <laughs> Such big egos, not Tarikos. Surely we denounce that. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> it's Billie Jean King laughing. <laughs> GoPros, slow mos, no snow. Does that mean we're free to go? No. This fifth set is too damn long. That lost boy is named Lamont. Tsuchi, Sochi, PEDs. Have a look at Lindsay's knees. She still skis? <laughs> Gymnasts tumbling. NASCAR's rumbling. Brian, gumbling. <laughs> Tara, yeah, there's more. I get just a little more. <laughs> Tara and Johnny. Great attitude, but if you're behind them in makeup, you are so screwed. <laughs> to, <laughs> to the women in this room, women's softballs out of mothballs. Very happy about that, yeah. Back in the Olympics. Is it a sport to climb up boulders? I want Missy Franklin shoulders. Ryan Lochte is quite the drinker. Bob's pink eye is getting pinker. <laughs> A little more, and then I'm out. Julie Foudy. Swimming's rowdy. Hamill's camel. Mia's ham. Nathan Chen, again and again. Esports, Bjorn Shorts. Grass and clay and hard courts. Tanya Harding. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Apollo. Oh, no. He's the coolest. Go, Apollo, go. LAX and MIA, ORD and JFK, get me back to the USA. Johnny Max got my back. Martina, Serena, whatever arena. Visser's a pisser, and Billie Jean remains my queen. <laughs> it was, let me tell you. Let me just tell you, it was Billy who taught me how to behave at work. It was the first time I ever got to work with her was at HBO for Wimbledon 1996. We would finish a show late at night, and Billy Jean King would thank the camera crew, then she'd walk downstairs to the control room, thank them, then she'd go back to the tape room, and in an unusually unnecessary move, introduce herself, ask everybody how it's going, and compliment them on the footage they found. Um, relationships are everything she has said ever since I've known her. And that is the best television lesson, life lesson, I've ever learned. Relationships are everything, and that's why I'm so happy to be up here, be here tonight. Um, thanks for all of you, um, for letting me be a part of all of this. Uh, thanks for the memories, uh, the moments, the laughter, a very special thanks to this table, uh, my family, my loved ones. Um, when people you love say, tell you stuff, it tends to stick to your ribs. Uh, that's what's always happened with me. Uh, so thank you to them. Um, they've never tried to stop me from going anywhere, and they always seem kind of happy to have me back. Thank you all very much. But each day